One of the biggest struggles of being in a foreign country for so long is watching my native language deteriorate. Well, I don't know if I could say deteriorate, but it's certainly hard to keep up with the trends. I see a lot of people on the internet saying things like no cap, bustin' or Karen or whatever else, and I don't fully understand how to use these words. I need you to understand that I am not that old, but I feel like I've been living under a rock for the last few years. And on top of that, I'm a middle school English teacher in Japan, so the English I use every day is so simplified that that's what's starting to sound natural to me now. With all that being said, my Japanese has gotten pretty good since I moved out here. Even when I'm thinking out loud or when I get hurt, usually the first words out my mouth are in Japanese. I can already feel how bad the reverse culture shock's gonna hit me the next time I go back to the States. Maybe I need to start immersing myself in whatever's trending on TikTok so I can feel less like an outsider in my own home country. Is everyone still doing that one Fortnite dance? I'm totally kidding, I know the answer to that one. But no cappin, the food in this video looked bussin'. Did I say that right? Do you think it's important to keep up with this kind of slang? And if so, teach me something in the comments and subscribe for daily food videos from Japan.